Hi there, my name is Marianne Pope and I represent a face behind a workplace tragedy. Um, I am here today to talk to you about why I was chosen as the family spokesperson this year for the Threads of Life, Steps for Life walk in Calgary. Um, my husband uh, was a police officer in Calgary. His name was John Petropoulos and he passed away in 2000, which is almost 21 years ago, which is unbelievable. Uh, and yet here I am still talking about workplace safety because it matters very much. Um, John was 32 when he passed away. We both were actually, he was investigating a break and enter at a, a warehouse and he went into the building and he went up to the mezzanine level and he stepped through a false ceiling because there was no safety railing in place and he fell through not just nine feet into the lunchroom and hit the back of his head and died of a brain injury. Um, his death was absolutely devastating to me and to John's family and to my family and all his colleagues and friends and family and mine as well too. It uh, fundamentally changed my life and it was the end of his cut short way too soon. Um, I speak on behalf of uh, Threads of Life because it really is very, very important that we start to and we continue to show the faces behind um, workplace fatalities, injuries and occupational illnesses because they continue to happen and it's been a very, very difficult year in terms of the health side of things uh, with COVID obviously, but injuries as well continue to happen at unprecedented rates. Um, it's just mind boggling and it's, it's heartbreaking and so many of, so many of these injuries are preventable. Um, if people, you know, really slow down and, and pay attention and take the time to speak up or make a difference or do whatever they need to do to try and help make sure that these um, injuries and illnesses, fatalities aren't happening. Um, today's event, unfortunately, is not happening in real time, but it is an online event. But it is really important that we continue to raise funds for Steps of Life because they promote, they, sorry, they don't promote, they, well, they do, they raise awareness about workplace safety issues, but they also raise important funds that are directed to families um, who need support after a workplace fatality injury or occupational illness strikes a family. Um, and believe me, a lot of support is needed. Um, they do things such as the one-on-one -on -one family support program and um, do safety presentations and are still doing them now. Um, it's an extraordinary charity and I really um, encourage you to take a moment and find out more and perhaps maybe make a donation if you can. Um, two steps, steps, steps for life um, and threads of life of course. Um, so thank you, thank you very much. I'm just going to check my notes to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, no, I think, I think that's it. Um, I guess just one final note, because um, I work closely as well with the John Petropolis Memorial Fund raising awareness about workplace safety issues and a big messaging, a big theme of our messing, messaging this year was the fact that since John died in 2000, 20,000 Canadians have died as a result of an occupational injury or um, illness um, over the last 20 years. And that's quite staggering. Um, but again, behind those injuries and fatalities and illnesses are real people whose lives were cut short, um, way too young in many cases. And family and friends and loved ones left behind and that's hundreds of thousands of people such as myself and many many others so thank you so much for listening to this video and perhaps uh, learning more about threads of life and perhaps even making a donation and take care stay safe stay well and all the best